All right, guys, here's a good look of my IKEA modular set that I have in my city that I'm going to attempt to modify. Now, this is one of the ones that I actually picked up locally. I found instructions online, but someone locally here already built it, and I've decided to pick it up for pretty cheap. I think I picked this up for about 75 bucks, which I really enjoy because this is cool. I like the modern buildings in my city. Uh, the more more of the stores that you would see today, I'm really interested in those. But anyways, this doesn't really fit my city anymore. Those of you guys who checked out my first city video, it's kind of sitting by itself. And, um, and my table layout just doesn't work. So I'm going to attempt to modify this to make it more of a, a corner shape. Okay, so that it fits my table. But before I do that, I want to give you guys a good look in case those of you guys that aren't familiar with this, because this is actually pretty unique. I mean, first of all, if you look at the IKEA wording, um, I think this looks pretty good. It's actually, you know, 3D, it pops out. So I think that is pretty unique. We got some flags, which I don't really see anymore at IKEA's. I don't know if that used to be a thing. Uh, another flag over here. Here you got a little AC unit. This is actually pretty extensive. This is a lot better than some of the ones that you see in a modular set, which has like four or five pieces. This is actually uh, a pretty substantial unit. And this is modular, so this is pretty long. It is two 32 plates. As you can see, it can split up like this. And there are three levels. So starting from this side, if you take out the roof, you do see a lot of windows. Unfortunately, on this side, there was no stairs built in. I'll show you on the blue side, there is. There's actually an escalator, but on this side, there isn't. So there's some furniture pieces here. And you go to the bottom here. This is pretty cool. This is kind of like the checkout area. You got some storage space. Uh, nothing populated on there, but uh, I think that's pretty unique three shelves and you got some uh, checkout counters over there and that's pretty much it and it's all tiled over there so i really like i really like this side now this side is more plain on the blue side you do see an opening for the escalator right so if this was doors leading up to the top up here it would make more sense so that might be something i change but anyways, uh, you see a bit more furniture pieces, not as much, They're like a table and a shelf. Um, so that I could definitely do better later on. And then over here, pretty plain. You do have the escalator that, that leads up. And where's the door? The door is actually from this side on the yellow side, which actually over here, this is actually open, but this side is not again. So it make more sense if this was a door and that was a door, but uh, for now it'll do, but pretty plain on this side, it is tiled. The escalator moves up to here and that's it. But overall, I like, I like this set. It's just that it doesn't fit my table layout. So I'm gonna try to attempt to modify this so that it's making more of a L or corner shape. All right, here is the finished product. I know that I said I wanted to make it into a corner, but overall I felt like this would be cool to try to fit into one 32 by 32, and I really like the results. Let me know what you guys think. Basically, I made the IKEA into three stories plus an open area. Basically, I try to imagine that if there was an IKEA in the city and, you know, it had to be a modular look, uh, this is what it would look like. So, I retained as much as possible, yet I had to do some heavy modifications. You know, looking at the side here, I did uh, add the, the holes to connect to other modular buildings, which did not exist. Unfortunately, on this side... I couldn't fit one here. I might try, but I only have one. And this is because I ran out of ran out of blocks. But let me show you around. There is three floors, and in the back, there's two. Um, at the beginning, and I was able to retain most of the things. So let's start out from the top here. If I take out the roof, here is the top floor with most of the furniture. Now, as you guys can see with the light, 
I try to use as much windows and glass so that from basically any angle you can see through. Now the furniture I know is a little bit outdated. I'm gonna to try to update that as much as possible, but I really like the outside. I mean, this top floor, you can see pretty much windows all around, right? And then moving from here, here, here is the next floor where with the escalator coming up, you know, I just move some stuff around. Now this is what's unique. And this is, this is more in line with, you know, a sitting building. So these are glass, or I mean, these are windows that took the glass out so that someone could actually walk out of both sides. And you get, you get to have this like patio or awning or like a smoke break area, right? So I just put some, some trees and flowers here and some windows. So basically it's just exposed to the elements. And you see that a lot in the city, right? Where you have this area where you can just go out and take a, you know, take a look at the city or just take a break. So that's something I built in. So that is, uh, that is completely different from before. All right, so now taking this off. Whoop. Here we go. Now this is a lobby area and, um, and escalator. So I try to retain these posts, I had to modify these a little bit and also made it flow better because one of the things with the old Ikea setup was there was no flow between the buildings. Like it didn't really actually connect. So again, I made some openings there, took out the glass so you could walk through that. And then finally taking this last piece out, this is where you have the registers and the racks of stuff. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I put some windows back there. But overall, I was able to combine pretty much the two 32 uh, buildings into one. I had to remove uh, quite a few pieces. Um, not, I wouldn't say quite a few, but you could take a look. Here is what's left over. Um, you know, 32 board and these pieces. I try to use as much as possible, but there are leftovers. However, I think this is pretty good. I mean, I, I enjoy it. Um, I don't know about you guys. You know, do you guys prefer it was two 32 plates or just one? Um, for me, I think that this is just cleaner and, of course, a smaller footprint. And because of that, I think it'll fit into my city a lot better. Here we go, guys. I put the Ikea in the city. I found a corner for it. I think this is good because it's kind of secluded by itself, yet it's not. Also with my Lego store, I think it really matches really well with the color especially. Now, I did do some touch-up. I did change the tiles out to the dark uh, dark gray to kind of match my whole city because my whole city is a light gray on the outside, dark gray on the inside. So I changed that out, added a lamppost, um, a tree. Also, I moved the flags because I found the lobby to be kind of lacking. So you see, I stacked the three flags in the lobby there. And I think that actually looks pretty cool. If there was any more signage for um, Ikea, I would put it in there. But I actually really like that, how it's coming through the glass. If there's lights, I think that'll pop out really well. Other than that, that's it. I mean, this is what I expected. It doesn't take up too much space. It's more of a modular design that fits in the, in the city. And next, you know, with the Lego store right next to it, I think it matches pretty well. And if you take a look at everything else, you see how that matches up much better than than how it was before where it was more longer and uh, this is more of a taller look. All right, guys, that's it. Um, let me know what you think. If you like this new, new concept or this new design, new look, uh, I certainly do. If you guys love it, great. If you don't, um, either way, let me know. Put it in your comments. Let me know your thoughts. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this out. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.